praise you. In Jesus' name, all God's people said. Amen. Amen. Whew, amen. And so I was standing in the back, and I was thinking about um, a couple of things. But I, I want to I talk about the Word of God where I had to go look it up. It's actually... Um, in um, Haggai, is that how you say it? Haggai? Haggai. Haggai, yeah. yeah. So if you want to go with me to Haggai, let's go to Haggai chapter 2. And it is in the Old Testament. Um, 1089. So when is it? 1089. 1089. Yeah, so it's like three books from Matthew backwards. So, um, yeah, so anyways, this is in the Old Testament. And I, I heard that a phrase which made me think about the scripture, uh, or the saying, and so I went and looked it up today, and um, I'm, I'm just going to start in verse 6 in, in chapter 2. It says, For this says the Lord of hosts, Once more, it is a little while, I will shake heaven and earth, the sea and the dry land, and I will shake all the nations, and they shall come to the desire of all nations. And I will fill this temple with glory, says the Lord of hosts. The silver is mine. The gold is mine, says the Lord of hosts. The glory of this latter temple shall be greater than the former, says the Lord of hosts. And in this place I will give peace, says the Lord of hosts. So what I heard this week and and what really resonated in my heart and I and I know I know the content the the logos word okay but I want to talk about the rhema word I want to talk about the glory the glory of the latter temple shall be greater than the former and it makes me think about your life and it makes me think about my life and you know we're, we're considered to be temples of the Lord and he fills our temples with glory and he fills us with his presence and so I've been really thinking about the filling the carrying of Jesus the carrying of his presence in my in my heart my my inner man and so I've been thinking about this though because I want you to know that our lives is a reflection of this word in the living word. In other words, your life, you are greater now than you were in your former life because of the glory of the Lord, because of what he's doing. So you had to go through a shaking, and I had to go through a shaking, at least most of us had to, you know, but to understand that we belong to God, to understand that he's the great I am and that he's doing something in us and through us. And so sometimes we forget and um, but sometimes we forget where we used to be, where where, you know, we can talk about our lives and our past and stuff. But when you really go and think about who you were, where you were, the things that you were doing, the thoughts that you had, the hopelessness that you lived in and always trying to find a way to fill that love in you that no man could ever fill. Only the glory of the Lord could fill that place in our life. And so if we look back at our past, even though we're not where we need to be yet, we're not where we used to be, right? Amen. Tina's husband, Mike, has a shirt that says something like, I'm not where I should be, but I'm not where I used to be. Amen. You know, because he knows that he's being transformed by the glory of the Lord. This is from glory to glory, right? And so it's important that we understand that, that I know what this is saying in the Logos word, but I want to take it into my heart today. And I want to praise God today that I'm not where I used to be. And I want to praise him that I'm not even where I'm supposed to be yet because I'm still a work in process. And God's going to bring greater things. Even today, where I'm at today, this is going to pass away. This day is going to pass away, and I'm going to step into a new day. Amen. Sometimes when we live in today, today, we don't realize that the tomorrow is probably going to be better than yesterday, right? But if you really start to think about it, there's something in your life today that is greater than what it was yesterday. And the Word of God tells us that there's an age to come and there's a time to come that the, the, the latter is going to be greater than the former. But what about our lives? I mean, even today as Christians, spirit-filled Christians running after God, there is hope for our future. Amen. This isn't just it. 
This isn't just coming to church. It isn't just going to discipleship class. It isn't just praising God. It is the whole encompassing of who he is in us and through us and that he's going to do great things just like his word says. I'm going to do great things through you. You're going to do things greater than I did, but it's only because of his presence that's growing in us. So we all have a part to play in that. We have to spend time and we have to walk in relationship with him, right? Amen. When I first started dating Dan, um, I knew Dan. I knew his name. And that was pretty much about it. If I would not have spent time with Dan, I would not learn his middle name, which is Stephen, Stephen. Or Stefan, but it's Stephen. It's spelt that funky way where it looks like Stefan. Right? Mm -hmm. And his last name, Newman. And and so, but I, I didn't know him still. I learned his name, but I didn't really know him. So I had to spend time with him and hear his heart and hear his dreams and see where he used to be and what God brought him through. And even today, I still don't know him. I'm still learning who he is, and he's still learning who I am. And that's relationship today on this earth. See, we so often get caught up, and I know. I know what you're going to do. You're never going to change. You're going to be this way, and I've tried. And you, Well, we have to get Give all that up and let God continue to do what he wants to do by his spirit. Amen. Amen. And so it's the same thing on earth as, is, as it is in heaven. So our relationship with Jesus, with God, is an ongoing thing. It's an ongoing daily uh, communion with him, spending time with him, talking to him, you know, being who you are in Christ, being who he is through you. And so you can't give up on that relationship because if you do, you're going to stay right where you're at. You're, you're not going to look for the hope of the glory that's in Christ Jesus. Hope is a future word. Hope is a future word. That's why the word of God says hope deferred makes the heart grow sick. So if you see somebody that is in a hopeless state, you know that somewhere they lost the future hope that they have. But if they could understand that even God says that, that the former, the behind us, sorry, that the glory, that the glory of this latter temple shall be greater than the former. So we got to understand that there's greatness for us all yet today. We haven't arrived. You're not there. Neither am I. I mean, I'm a pastor of a church, but this isn't where it's stopping. There's more things coming, and I know that. You know, but I'm not going to try to create them. I'm going to let God do it, but I have to be willing to be all in. I have to be willing to be all in when I don't want to be all in because everybody has days where you just don't want to be all in. But if you give in to those feelings and you give in to that fight in your life, then you'll go backwards because if you're not going forward, you certainly aren't standing still because the enemy starts to push on you and you start to go backwards. God gave us the armor of God, which is him. And as we plunge forward, we're protected in him. And we need to remember that, right? Mm -hmm. And so I want to be greater tomorrow than I am today. I want to do more tomorrow than what I'm doing today. I want to have a changed heart tomorrow than what I have today. I want to love people more tomorrow than I love today. I want the Holy Spirit to create the greater good within me that is Him every single day so that when I look back at yesterday, some good things happened yesterday, but I'm in today and I still have to be willing to let go of those things, bad and good, right? Often it's easy to hang on to the things that are bad. Well, you did this to me and I'll never forgive you and you did this and I I have the right. Well, maybe you do, but in Christ you have it no more. That's right. right. That's right. And if you hang on to yesterday and the bad things that happened to you, they will come into your tomorrow because you are allowing them to because you're letting them still control your life. You're letting them still be the Lord of your life versus the, thing that, the things that God wants to do in us and through us. So I've really been thinking about this, and I was driving, and I thought, oh, my gosh, God, there's so much more that you have for me. So don't, don't get stuck in a rut. Don't think that oh, humdrum, it's the end of the year, it's been cloudy out, it's no fun. 
Uh, nothing's happening. Yes, Christmas is upon us, but it's a financial burden for many people. People overspend. Um, people are trying to give the best that they can, but let's give hope this year. Amen. Amen. Yeah. So what I want to do by the Spirit of God is I need some people to come up here. And I need you to be willing to maybe give us all hope today. Maybe share something that was former that's behind you that now you see that you shall be greater and you are greater. Amen. Who's willing to do that? Amen. Come on. I'm not just doing this because I want to. I'm doing it because God's asked me to. Can you hand me that? I get this. There you go. Um. Uh, in my past life, uh, the enemy is trying to bring back things that happened and that I went through. And I was sick about uh, nine years ago. And so I had some things wrong and the Lord healed me and he healed me fully. And recently that's been trying to come back since we started healing school. Oh, and it has been coming back and trying to settle on me and I've just been fighting it with all I got because I know he's not done with me yet and that I have greater things to do. And I'm gonna keep fighting the good fight until Amen. it's not, until it's his time to take me. So, Amen. 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 Yeah. Oh. Hallelujah. Come on, Mike. Thank you. So while Mike's coming up, um, Healing Rooms is, is really huge for what God's been asking us to do. And they've been, they're catching on out there. And, and God's going to bring them even out into the community more so that people come in. And so I'm super encouraged about that. So don't be surprised if you are experiencing uh, more junk coming against you than what you're used to. But let's not give God, let's not give the enemy the glory. Let's trust God. Let's put our faith, not in our fears of it, but let's encourage each other, pray for each other. Marcy put out a prayer request asking for prayer because she knew this was a battle. And so then everybody started praying. That's what that's for. You don't just... Well, I'm not going to say him. Is it my lip and I'm, it's just between me and God? No, he wants us to pray for each other. Yes. That's what it's about. Amen. And it makes a difference. It does make a difference. Yeah, it does. I'm just going to. Okay. I used to be very, very selfish. I didn't realize it, but through the grace of God, you know, I've learned to give. Amen. 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 Yay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, because sometimes we think that what we have, we got to hang on to because we may never get any more, right? But as you give, you get more, you know? It's true. It's so true. Anybody else? Come on. Just come on up. We can do one after another. Well, most of my life I've dealt with... Um, broken heartedness in relationships and it wasn't until I really understood how much the Lord loved me mm. and that uh, if I just put it aside he will meet my needs in all things and as you know I've got a wonderful wife now and all the love I can stand sometimes <laughs> because cause she really loves me and I love her so much so it, it really is a blessing just in trusting in him and uh it's wonderful. He's really restored me in, in that love. So. Amen. Yeah. So there's hope, isn't there? There is. For and everyone. so the, 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 your future is so much better than oh, your past. Wow. Your I need past. to look at it. Oh. Yes, yes. Dan, Elsie, get ready. Um, yeah. I don't think you know where I'm going, though. <laughs> I just want to say, um, God has given me favor for a lot of things. There's no doubt about it. And lately, the more that I seek Him, and I, I, He's been really pricking my heart. Seek Him in all things. Invite Him into all things, and ask Him into all things. And yeah, I got a later next week, or you'll hear a testimony about this. But 
just because of his favor on us, we have favor wherever we go. Amen. Because of who we are. And it's just there's so much hope in that because you know, you can go into situations and just like, whoa, what's going to happen here? But yet, yeah, when you walk back out of them, it's like, wow, yeah. what just happened? It's because of God. Amen. So, yeah, he is our hope. Amen. Amen. Miss yeah. Elsie? I just love the living word. The word is alive. It's not just on pages. It's up there and it says, if we'll acknowledge him, he will make our path straight. Amen. And it's, it's just a joy to me to know that the word is living in me. But I want to share one thing. I, we've been getting many prayer requests. And I love when Mary calls, she'll maybe give me three, four at the same time, and I'm writing like crazy. But you know what? I take time, and I see the people, and I put my arms around them and pray and talk to God. We're plugged in. I mean, yeah. we are yeah. absolutely, right. positively plugged in. So just keep looking for your answers because they're there and they're coming. Amen. Yeah. Anybody else? Please say one more thing. Okay, yeah. James, get ready. <laughs> <laughs> I've um, <laughs> been uh, running across people, uh, some people that have had severe depression and uh, also a couple of people that have committed suicide and their friends and people left behind. So, uh, and just depression, you see people this time of year in, that can get into that. So it, always take the time to stop and serve them. A little bit goes a long ways to recognize their, you know, where they're at, to just touch them, to pray for them, to serve them somehow. Yeah, yeah. Amen. James. <laughs> Time's up. <laughs> Hope. Being, you know, since a kid, being strung on a dope, alcohol, homeless, in and out of jails, prisons. Uh, I did not think that God would ever use me nor want me. And, you know, when Pastor mentioned the healing rooms, that's what triggered it. You know, because I really did sign up to be a door greeter. <laughs> you know, I had no clue that I'd be praying for people. And to hear when people come back to me and say, thank you for praying for me, it's like, I know it's not really me, it's God working through me, but it's like I was willing to let God work through me. Right. Yep. And there was another thing just recently, actually Tuesday, I've been told, go to this Tuesday meeting. These people need to hear it straight. I'm one of those, I don't lie, so I just give it to them straight. And I walked out of the meeting afterwards, and it's like everybody just was like shaking my hand saying, thank you, you know. And it's like to know that I could help give somebody hope and let them know that there's a future for them and that they don't have to die from alcohol and drugs. It's, uh, right. And there's a God, you know, right. amazing. Right. Amen. So. Amen. so what do you say that your latter self is much better than your former? Oh, way better. <laughs> <laughs> and there's more to come, right? Yeah. Anybody else? Going once? Going twice? Come on, Miss Mary. Just want to make sure that everybody have a chance to say what they feel led to say. Um, can't even think about how long ago it was when Ray and I first met. Um, but we started our relationship in the world. And, and then we got married, and then things turned really bad, and we got divorced. And, um, 
but by the grace of God. And I know I'm not just speaking for myself. Uh, our relationship today is nothing short of a miracle. And it's only by the grace of God. It's nothing we could have done. But we do it right today. Amen. And I am ever so thankful. I'm just an old lady that's falling more in love with my husband every day. Amen. So I'm going to talk about finances. A year and a half ago, I thought there was no way to have a house. I live in a house. But um, God did that. But um, just to, like last week, I was thinking, oh, I'm going to go back to work and work the next two years, and then I'll bank more on my Social Security, right? And I said, no, I'm not going <laughs> to. It took me one day to decide. No, I'm not going <laughs> to. But, but with that, I just got my Social Security thing today, and they increased how much I can make, $600 a year, so I can work more, make more donate more. <laughs> and I, I just think, you know, I always tell God, I don't see how you're going to do it. And he always, always comes through. Sure does. Amen. Always. Amen. Okay, anybody else? All right. So really what I wanted you to do, and you did it, thank you for just sharing some of the things that you've been through, because I want us to see that we, we don't stand still, that it doesn't matter if it was Mary and, and Ray were married twice, but God had a plan, and he made sure that the two of them came back together and things that needed to happen needed to happen. That doesn't happen with every marriage, but it happened with their marriage. But I want you to know that we don't just stand still, that there's glory. The glory of God is doing a work within us, and he wants us to understand that, that the former has passed away, and there's so much more to come in the latter. The latter isn't today. It's, it's tomorrow, and it's the next day. And so even though today was a good day, we got some things done. We're trying to get ready for his retirement. Last day's tomorrow. Uh, yeah, Dan. And so he'll be, not that he wasn't full-time ministry, but he'll be more full-time ministry. And there's lots to do. Um, so that's going to free me up to be able to do some of the things that I haven't been able to do because I've been um, an octopus the last, you know, 11 years. So, um I'm excited, he's excited, and God's going to do something. So I want us to know, going into this next year, 2020, that God has something for us that's new. You know, this year he gave us healing rooms, new, for this ministry. And he's still, he's still putting the, the foundation layer down, and he's going to build upon that. But there's new things coming. You know, we're just not going to just do nothing. God wants us to be effective, and he wants to be effective through us but we have to do our part we have to believe in him even on the cloudy days when we don't see the sun for weeks around here next to the lake it's no fun for us right but God doesn't change on them cloudy days and he doesn't change on those sunny days and he is saying that listen don't you believe that the latter is going to be better than the former yeah. I believe that and I want to see that so I've been thinking about that this week and meditating on it because it's a big deal you know and I want God to use me greater tomorrow than he is today. I want a fresh fire. I want it to come down from heaven, and I want him to do what he knows only he can do, and that's affect first my life, and then the lives of all those that I have influence, um, have the honor to have influence in. I want to be that atmosphere changer. I'm telling you, um, we, um, we, went, we went in a... Uh, we went for a ride, and um, and when we got back to the house, Ken and Vicky were with us, and, and I've got to know them really well. Well, I know Ken really well, and Vicky, and we walked in the in in the house, and I said, "What's the matter, Ken?" He goes, "Nothing." I said, "Are you sure? Because I'm pretty sure that I'm discerning something's just not right." No, nope, I'm I'm good. So he walks into the house. He doesn't say hi to my dog. Now, if you know Ken, 
He's always like, hey, Teddy, I'm here. You want a treat? You know, because that's just Ken. Right away, that's what it, he didn't do that. I'm like, okay, God, he's got, a, he's got something's wrong. And so I said to him again, I said, Ken, because I don't give up real easy. I said, Ken, I said, is there something wrong? Is there like a problem? No, no, there's not a problem. I said, something's right, not right. Because I can feel it. I'm discerning it, and I know it. I said, even so much so that you didn't even say hi to my dog. And uh, he's like, well, he says, I'm just, you know, it's just between, like, me and God. I'm like, okay, I'm good with that. Because the thing is, is, is you just don't ever know what God's doing in the lives of people. But I'm kind of just, I'm going to ask you, if you're around me and I sense something, I'm going to ask you because I, I really do discern quite well. Um, and I praise God for it because it's him. And, and I, I, I started retracing our steps that night. And I thought there really can't be anything that anybody did that would cause his mood to change. You know, but something happened. But a lot of times the things that happen are up here. Right? And so we have to get right with God so that we don't get stuck in our old way of thinking and let God change it into the new way that we need to be thinking or doing or becoming in Him. Amen? Yeah. Yeah. And so I just really want to encourage you tonight because I believe that, that we forget that yesterday has passed away and this is a new day and God is in all things. Amen. He doesn't put these things necessarily in our lives, but he will see us through them. We are singing that song today, um, the fourth man in the fire, and, and the lyrics say that, you know, that he was the one that was holding the seas back. Amen. He was the fourth man in the fire. Mm -hmm. And so I don't know if you feel like you're in a fire or not, you know, and the season is tough on you, and maybe you, you deal with the, the cloudiness and you, you fight a little bit of, what do you call that thing when it's cloudy and seasonal, seasonal yeah, yes, seasonal effects, we'll call it that. So I'm not cursing you with depression because I, I don't want to do that. But, but the thing is, is, you know, maybe sometimes you feel like you're in that fire. If we can just remember that he's there with us right. and that we're going to come out of the fire. And if you feel like you are, you know, following him and, and he's asking you to cross this Red Sea and you step out and, you know, he's holding that. I can't imagine what it was like to look at the up them big old walls of the and then see the sharks. I'd be seeing sharks and I'd be seeing all the dangerous critters because that's where my mind goes. But. But yet trusting God to hold all that stuff back. Do you realize that he's holding back Amen. so many things that want yes. to come against us? That's right. That's right. He's holding them back. Yes. Holding them back. Holding them back. There's a video out there, and I don't know the name of the song, but many young people have done it. And it is of a person that is, is praying and all of a sudden, this person is influenced by drugs and alcohol and sex and money. And, and they're just, all of a sudden, all these things are throwing her around their demons. And they're throwing her around and taking her from all these different places and just ripping her apart. And, and all of a sudden, you know, she sits down and cries out to God. And all of a sudden, Jesus comes in. And he's holding all these things that are trying to get past him as somebody comes and ministers to this young lady. So listen, we might be dealing with some things in our lives, but he's holding so much more back that's trying to come against us. He'll see us through these times. And the latter is going to be greater than the former. And we've got to remember that. Amen. Let's pray. So, Father, I just thank you and praise you for your love and for what you're doing. And I pray, God, that you stir our hearts, that we don't grow weary in well-doing, that we get involved, that we continue to be faithful. And, Lord, I pray for the body of Christ as they're dealing with sickness right now, not just at River of Life, but all over the place. We've got many people. Something's happening. And, Lord, I pray, God, that you come and you hold it all back. And that they feel your presence, that they know that you're there, and that they trust that it will get better. It will get better. So, God, I thank you and I praise you in Jesus' name. All God's people said, Amen. Amen. Amen.
Let's do glory to glory, Tim. You might have to bring up the lyrics for that, uh, depending on what version, what version you get. So, yeah, so glory to glory, right? We're going to just go from glory to glory and allow God to, to do what he does. Amen.